I do apologise um, just for the setup of this video, purely because um, I have a ring light right here, right? And I got it after Christmas and I've been using it to film videos ever since. The problem with the ring light is one, it will not go straight. It just you leave, it either leans forward or leans backwards. Two, the little thing that goes on, it's literally pointing right here, goes on top in the middle of the ring light so you can fix your camera into the middle of the ring light. It won't, my camera will screw onto the screw but because the screw is so long it's incredibly flimsy so it just keeps going all over the place. So I've abandoned that idea. So basically my idea for filming now is just to have a tripod with the camera, with the ring light in front or behind. Or put the camera somewhere and have the ring light in front of it. So that's what I'm doing right now. And unfortunately that means that um, the ring light will be right in front of my face. And so because ring lights are incredibly powerful, full maximum white light exposure, whatever you want to call it, the, the high setting of white light will be this bright and um, and I can't flipping see a thing. So I'm going to turn it down to the lowest setting, which you can still see me, which is fine. And I will be squinting a little bit. Anyway, what else? Today is another Korean test, taste test. I ordered just a few more snacks off that website. <laughs> I'm a valued customer now. Um, just so these are the this is the last of the things that I have to taste test from that Korean website. Also things that I've been bought blah blah blah. blah. So this will probably be the last one of these for a while. And then, so the next video you'll see will probably be kimchi fried rice, then this one, then the one with my sisters, which I'll be filming whenever the stuff I order arrives. Who knows? And with the situation that's currently going on, who knows? I'm not talking about that, by the way, because I don't want to shed light on that situation anyway. So today I'll be tasting a few more things I've brought from Wanahong and a few things that my cousin, when she went to London a few weeks ago, bought me from a Korean shop. So cool. So let's start, because I don't have loads of time. First thing that she bought me was these, this packet of ramen, which I won't be tasting now because I've, I've already tried ramen on this channel and I don't think it's that exciting. I don't know what the flavour is. It does say Samyang. It doesn't say what flavour it is. I don't think that this has a flavour. Maybe it's potato. I don't, I don't even know. Anyone know what this flavour is? Anyone, anyone know? No. Okay. The main two things that she did buy though, I can taste, which are this and this. Let's try this first. I'm petrified of these because um, there's an octopus on the front. So I'm assuming this will be octopus flavoured. And um, I don't like octopus flavoured things, so I'm really excited. Koreans don't open their crisp packets, or any Asian people don't open their crisp packets like this, like we do. They have a little thing right here, and you're supposed to open it like that, and that's so weird. Just from the smell, I can tell that I'm going to hate this. Okay. This is what they look like. Little curled, like, almost like quavers, but like tentacle versions. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see? Can you see? Anyway. They smell, they do smell like appetising. They don't, but I, I know what it, octopus smells like and I don't like it. So, let's taste it. Mm, three, two, one. I haven't got a drink. Oh well. Hmm. That is a really, really hard flavour to get used to. I think I'm I think I'm pulling that reaction initially because I know what it is and it's octopus and I don't like octopus. 
The most flavour you get though is probably an umami flavour, which is like a meat flavour. It's, I could tolerate it. This is not the worst octopus flavoured snack I've had. Would I eat the whole bag? Probably not. I wasn't trying another one. No, <laughs> either. <laughs> Again, this is gonna be a really quick video because I haven't got that many things to taste. I'm just gonna get some drink because I need to get that taste out of my mouth. For the next thing are these. Now, these are obviously minions. I have absolutely no idea what the heck these are. First of all, they were sweets or gummies. Th then I thought it was like little rolls of cake but they're really hard, so I'm not sure what they are. Those smell disgusting. What the hell are they? They are called Hawthorne Pearls. They smell so bad. They smell so incredibly bad. Ew, it might just be the... I hope this isn't coffee. It smells a bit like coffee. <laughs> that smells disgusting. Oh, it smells It smells like tea. Is it tea? Oh, that's not the texture I thought it was gonna be. It's, it is like a gummy. It's like, a, you know those fruit winders or fruit roll-ups you used to get? That's what it feels like. Mm -hmm. You can, un you can un unwind it. Ew. This does not look edible. 